It isn't in a war. It isn't in a battle. It isn't in a melee of fire and destruction that most of us succumb to weakness. We are taken apart slowly, convinced to take an easier path, enticed by comfort. Most of us aren't defeated in one decisive battle. We are defeated one tiny, seemingly insignificant surrender at a time that chips away at who we should really be. It isn't that you wake up one day and decide, that's it, I'm going to be weak. No. It is a slow, incremental process. It chips away at our will. It chips away at our discipline. We sleep in a little later. We miss a workout, then another. We start to eat what we shouldn't eat and drink what we shouldn't drink. And without realizing it, one day you wake up and you become something that you never would have allowed. So, you have to be vigilant. You have to be on guard. You have to hold the line on the seemingly insignificant little things. Things that shouldn't matter, but things that do. It's not about winning. It's the battle itself. It's the struggle. It's the daily test. That's what life's about. I want to struggle. I want to grind and claw and scratch and I want to dig in and I want to push. And I don't want it to end. I don't want to rest and I don't want to coast. And I want to reach a point in my life where I say, I've done enough. No. Everyone listening to this, here's the deal. No complacency. No complacency. No backing off. No slack whatsoever. Fight. The standard is the standard. We don't lower it. We compete, we fight, we scrap, we live to fight another day. We don't retreat against nobody. That ain't talent. That's essence. That's core. That's who I am as a person. That's how I get down. That's how I'm coming. That's what that is. And every time you get ready to stop, every time you get ready to quit, that's you as a man. But when you press forward, in the midst of the opposition, in the midst of the adversity, you build a mentality that's going to sustain you 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. Because you want some different kind of results in your life, you've got to be willing to be unreasonable. If you want unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be willing to be unreasonable. Part of being unreasonable, you don't judge according to appearances. Part of being unreasonable, you can see it because you believe it. That's part of being unreasonable. Part of being unreasonable, you must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. That's part of being unreasonable. And so I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave there. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not, why would you work so hard, Les? I said, I'm not working for them. I've been cheating myself and my family. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of setting standards that others will be measured by. Someone said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail.